Two-way data binding with vModel is one of the core principles of Vue. Our parent component passes a ref as a prop and then listens for an update event that changes the value of the ref that we're passing. And vModel gives us a way to combine these two commands into a single directive. This is a core pattern, but in this quick video, we'll take a look at a lesser known Vue technique called writable computed that can make things like vModel nicer to work with. So let's say we have a parent component with a message ref that's controlled by this custom component, my input. And my input uses vModel the traditional way. It defines model value as a prop, update model value as an emits, and on the input event, or when our reset button is clicked, we emit our update event. But now let's see what this would look like with writable computed. We can say const message equals computed, but this isn't gonna look like your typical computed property. By default, computed values are read only. We pass it a getter function, and if we try to set dot value somewhere else, we get errors. But with writable computed, we pass an object with our traditional getter function, but then also a set function that takes in our new value. So if we set message value, it will run the set function and print out a new value. But with this message isn't being changed. Most of the time when we use the setter function, we want it to set the underlying values that drive our computed. If we take a look at the example from the view docs, it has a full name computed that concatenates the first and last name. Then when we set it, we split our new value and individually set first name and last name. So these will change, which in turn changes our getter. So when ours set, we can emit our update event with our new value. This will change our props, which will change our getter. So now on our input, we can replace this with a vmod. And in our reset, we can just say a message equals an empty string. We know longer have to call emit down here because we can just set message and this setter will take care of emitting for us. And we can even extract this to a composable that takes props, key, and emits and returns our computed using this key instead of a hard-coded model value. Or this is also available in view use, which is actually what inspired me to make this video because I thought the underlying tech was really cool. But overall, I really like this approach. Once we set up our writable computed, we don't have to worry that this is a prop or that we have to emit. We can just treat it like normal data and things just work. Let me know in the comments if you can see other use cases for writable computed, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.